Women with a BRCA1 or 2 mutation have about a 70% lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. Once diagnosed with breast cancer, they then have a high rate of a subsequent contralateral or ipsilateral breast cancer. So when we think about treating these women with BRCA-associated breast cancer, we need to think about minimizing the likelihood of the patient dying from her first breast cancer, but we also need to think about minimizing the incidence of and mortality from a second primary cancer. So typically, research has looked at a very short period of follow-up after an initial breast cancer diagnosis. But for women with BRCA-associated breast cancer, it's important that we look at that long-term follow-up period because of these subsequent risks of contralateral and ipsilateral breast cancer. So we decided to do a study where we were going to look at the survival rates of women with BRCA-associated breast cancer who did and who did not undergo a contralateral mastectomy. This was a multi-center study looking at women who were followed from the date of initial breast cancer diagnosis until either they died of their disease or a date of last follow-up. There were 390 women in this study who were initially treated with either a unilateral or bilateral mastectomy. We followed them for a median follow-up time of 14 years, and within that time, 79 women died of breast cancer. When we look at the 20-year survival rates, comparing those with a bilateral mastectomy to a unilateral mastectomy, those with a bilateral mastectomy had an 88% survival rate at 20 years, and those with a unilateral mastectomy had a 60 percent 6% survival rate at 20 years. So that when we look at the difference between the type of mastectomy, there was a 48% reduction in mortality associated with having a bilateral mastectomy compared to a unilateral mastectomy when we look at that 0 to 20 year period of follow-up. However, we do have to realize that there were a limited number of events in that second decade of follow-up, which is a limitation to the current study. So when we look at the impact of a diagnosis of a contralateral breast cancer on mortality, for those who did develop a contralateral breast cancer, the mortality rate was increased by twofold. So based on the results of this study, we think that it's reasonable to propose that a bilateral mastectomy be offered to women with BRCA-associated breast cancer. Really, we saw the reduction in those second primary cancers having a favorable impact on breast cancer-specific mortality in this group of women. The majority of deaths that did happen within that second decade of follow-up occurred among women who experienced a second primary breast cancer. So if appropriate, it may be time to consider providing BRCA testing at the time of initial breast cancer diagnosis to help a woman make a very personalized decision about whether or not to have a bilateral mastectomy, because based on these results, we saw a survival benefit associated with having a bilateral mastectomy.